Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today I'd like to introduce you to the Fluke T6-1000 electrical tester. This tester can measure voltage up to 1000 volts AC through the open fork without test leads. With this meter, there is no need to remove wire nuts and expose the hot ends of electrical wires to test for voltage or amperage. This can speed up your work and make you more efficient. In fact, you can simultaneously measure voltage and current. The open fork is the widest in the industry and you can measure up to 200 amps on 4 watt wires. Sometimes when working in electrical boxes, finding a safe metallic contact point can be a challenge. With this meter, you can take your measurements by sliding a single wire into the open fork. Fluke accomplishes this by using a technology that they call field sense, which detects an electrical field. This field interacts with a reference signal created by the T6 tester, creating a voltage value on the tester's display. This is the off position on the dial, and this is the AC and DC position, which is used when you're using the leads to make the measurements. This tester is more accurate when using the leads as seen in the manual. Here in the manual, we see that the tester is accurate to plus or minus one and a half percent plus two counts when using the leads. To explain what counts are, let's go to the Fluke website. It says, accuracy may also include a specified amount of digits, that's counts, added to the basic accuracy rating. For example, an accuracy of plus or minus 2% plus 2 means that a reading of 100 volts on the multimeter can be from 97.8 volts to 102.2 volts. So in our case, it's plus or minus 1.5% plus 2 counts. So if you're measuring 100 volts, you got to figure in the 1.5% plus 2. That'll give you a range in your measurements of 98.3 volts to 101.7 volts. The next position on the dial is called field sense. You can measure volts AC, amps AC, and hertz with field sense. Field sense measurements are not as accurate as the measurements done with the leads. When we look at the specifications, we see that field sense has plus or minus 3% plus 3 counts, so a 100 volt measurement could range from 96.7 volts to 103.3 volts. Here I have a wire inserted into uh, the hot slot of a receptacle, and I have a wire nut on the end of it, and this is my Fluke 1AC voltage detector, and you see it is detecting voltage in this wire. So that tells us that we have at least 50 volts AC in the wire. And we do it in a non-contact way so that I don't have to expose myself to the hot end of the wire. But if you want to get more information in a non-contact way, you can use the, the Fluke T6. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the knob to field sense right there and on the back I have both of the leads inserted all the way in. This, this is uh, uh, critically important that the black lead be inserted all the way in and you see it's got to be pushed down too. It's a mistake people make sometimes. So it's going to be pushed all the way in and inserted down and you have to have a finger on the ground contact right here. Put your finger right there. So we're going to put the wire right between the forks and I'm going to rest it right on this uh, knob right here. Right in there, see the, the screen turns green. I have 122 volts AC, 121, and I have zero amps. Zero amps is correct. So now I have 120 volts AC. So, so now I'm going to see how my reading did by comparing it with a test with the leads. I'm going to take the leads out and I'll put the hot lead in the hot side and the black lead in the neutral side and you see I get 121 volts AC. 
So it's the same reading. I got the same reading. I got 122 now. So I got the same reading with field sense and with using the leads. One thing you're not supposed to do when you are using the field sense is you're not supposed to put your finger on the wire when you're using it. That will change your reading. So that's a good tip. Now, if you'd like to find the hertz, it press this button right here and it says 60 hertz. Now I'm going to test amperage with the T6 and this is a line splitter. It's a 10 times line splitter. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and uh, I'm, I've got the T6 on field sense. I'm going to put my finger on the ground contact in the back and let's see, we're going to plug in the heater. Okay, the heater is going now, the little electric heater. And now I'm going to put the prongs between the line splitter. We're, we're getting 4.19 amps. See, it actually reads 41.7 amps, but it's a 10 times line splitter, so you have to divide it by 10. So right now we're getting 4.14 amps for the little heater. That's what it draws. And so if I want to hold the reading, is press hold. And that uh, holds it, and you take the hold off like that if you want. The T6 has a built-in holder for the red lead. When using field sense, if your finger is very dry, a tip is to use a little lotion on your finger first to create a better ground contact. You also have the option of placing the black lead on a good ground instead of using your finger on the ground contact. The next position on the dial is resistance. The T6-1000 can measure up to 100 kilo ohms with plus or minus 1% plus two counts accuracy. In conclusion, I love this meter because of its ability to test hot wires in a non-contact manner without the danger inherent in removing wire nuts. I'll put a link in my video description for both the T6 600 meter, which tests up to 600 volts AC, and for the T6 1000, which tests up to 1000 volts AC. The T6 1000 tests hertz, while the T6 600 does not. The T6 1000 tests to 100 kilo ohms, while the T6 600 tests to 2000 ohms. I'll also put links for other great Fluke meters such as the 1AC voltage sensor, the Fluke 325 true RMS clamp meter, and the Fluke 117 true RMS electrician's meter. Thanks! I hope this video was helpful.